I'm going to show you a couple things today. The first thing is how to install a JavaScript file into your application JavaScript folder. This could be for Acrobat or Reader. I'm going to show you Reader today. It's very simple. There's a free tool you can use at our website, pdfautomationstation.com to locate that folder. So let's do that now. Just go to Resources here on the left, Download Library and just type in search type in folder and that should come up yeah here it is it says javascript or stamps folder locator so i'm going to click that and you'll see right here it says it's free to all members so we do have a free membership and that's just for some of these free downloads because well, i'll show you we just want you to agree to our license here before you download it so click agree and download and start download so that's done and then we're gonna go back to resources download library and this time i'm going to search for console and that's right here it says javascript console opener so this will allow you to open the javascript console in reader acrobat you just press Control j but reader there's no obvious way to open that so we just create a little free tool here for you so again click download now click click uh, agree and download start download you see it download right there my files are on my desktop my download so here's those two everything's in a zip folder here even if it's a PDF so I'm just gonna extract that I'm just gonna drag it over the zip folder onto the desktop I'll close that. I don't need the zip folder anymore. And then I will also pull out this JavaScript file. Close that and I'll delete that zip folder. So let's open this folder locator. I'm going to open it with the reader. And this is what I'm looking for. The application JavaScript folder. So I'll click that select that radio button and then I'll just go ahead and click find folder the console opens here scroll up you'll see all the instructions just click inside here anywhere press control a in windows just that means select all and then I can either press control enter or if I have a number keypad on my keyboard which I do you can use that enter key by itself the one on the number keypad so I'll go ahead and press that now and there's the path that's where my folder my JavaScript folder is located it's different on different machines like it's different on Mac different on Windows different on your version if you have a 32-bit 64-bit if you have reader 10 11 reader DC you're gonna get a different path but this will help you locate that so I'm just going to close that and I'm also closing reader down. So I'll go ahead and open that folder that it just showed me where it is. Here's the path there. I already had it open. Um, make this quicker. So we'll take this JavaScript file and I'm just going to drag it in there and click continue. Once it's in there, I will reopen reader. So I'll just do it using this same PDF. So now it's open. So if I go to my toolbar menu up here, if I click help, now I'm going to see this new item here that says PDF Automation Station. And if I hover over it, it says open console. So I'll click that and there's the JavaScript console. To close it, I just have to click this X. To open it back up, open console. And that's it. Thanks for watching the video. You can get both of those tools for free at pdfautomationstation.com. Thank you for watching.